So I assume that you read the title. <laughs> um, clearly, I am no longer engaged, no longer in a relationship. And it's been hard. This video is made because these are the kinds of videos that I was seeking out just before my breakup because it was one of those things that you could just kind of feel coming. And very much in the first week of my breakup because I wanted to know so badly that I wasn't alone in the feelings and the thoughts and the pain that I was experiencing and these videos were so validating to see somebody else go through and feel exactly what I was feeling. So this video came basically out of that. It's what helped me through the initial part of my breakup and I wanted to put one out there so other people could feel seen during their breakup, but in turn it became a very therapeutic and cathartic process, just filming and having this like video diary and the weirdest thing that was the most helpful was editing it and seeing like two weeks into it how far I had come and how my mood was different and like... It was just really helpful when day to day you feel like this is never gonna get better and then you watch it and you're like, oh, like there's changes here. What this video is not is like an inside look of the breakdown of my relationship. This has quite literally nothing to do with my ex. This is not dragging any of his shit in here. This is completely selfishly about me and how I have processed and the many, many breakdowns that I had and the good days that I had and the support of my friends and the support of my family and just what's helped me get through this because this was my first love and this was my first engagement and this was my first pull your heart out of your chest breakup. I wanted to keep it very purely about that I, it's about me, it's not about anybody else. So yeah, without further ado, let's watch me cry a lot. So it's the day that I made the decision. I don't know what to say. I ended my relationship. I saw in the lead up to this day, some of those documenting my heartbreak videos and they helped so maybe it'll help to make one i feel numb mostly i feel like the life that i have planned with this person got destroyed in an instant <laughs> But it wasn't really an instant, it was, it was coming. So, this is the first time I've sat down since I got back from my mom's house today, since we officially broke up, but we haven't even like talked and today didn't go how I wanted it to go, I mean, no shit. I've been rearranging the bedroom because I needed something to do. And I vacuumed the stairs and I cleaned the floors and I brought a bunch of shit upstairs and a bunch of shit downstairs. And now I'm sitting and I don't feel anything, but I know it's coming because it's come in waves today. Like it had to happen and I felt that for a while and we've been working on it and trying and it just wasn't enough. We had this moment when we were on the phone in between like <laughs> me sobbing and then I was like blowing my nose and he's like, damn bitch, like it's a lot of snot and it's just like everything that didn't work we could really make each other laugh in like really bad moments I know it's the right decision I know that 
I have peace with that, but it doesn't make what I know is coming any easier. It doesn't make like all the feelings and the missing and the loneliness that I know is coming. It's just like I'm right at the cliff of that because it's done, but it's like his stuff is here and we have to see each other again. And I want to have that conversation. So it's done, but it's not like done. I'm in the middle <laughs> of a breakdown. <laughs> And I just had such a sadistic thought um, because I want to like distract myself and watch something. And I was like, you know what I should watch? Someone great. It is the fucking saddest breakup movie. I'm going to do it. We'll see how long I make it. <laughs> that was so fucking cathartic and so sad. And my eyes are no longer existent you know when you just want to feel like someone else is feeling your emotion that's a good movie for that <laughs> i literally cried into her face last night <laughs> and then i texted bronwyn and i was like wow astrid is so comforting <laughs> i know he's with his friends right now and i know that they're drinking and commiserating and I'm just alone because <sighs> my friends are working and away maybe I'll just sign up for therapy because I'm gonna need it and I feel like I'm in limbo because I haven't seen him like we haven't even talked about like we haven't talked and I know that no one owes you closure, but we need to talk because we live together and like, we need to decide how we're splitting things. This is obviously so different from any breakup I've been through. We live together, we were engaged. There was a period of time a few months ago where I was actively planning a wedding. This is, my journey i'm not dragging like his shit into this but some stuff happened and we had to pull back from that and refocus on strengthening our relationship and i had to get to a place where there was renewed trust in words that were being said every time i kept almost getting there something smaller would happen that would pull me back and I gave it six months and it just didn't, it didn't get better enough. My mom just came over, she brought me food. We went for a walk and now I'm gonna go lay outside in the hammock with a margarita at two in the afternoon. I feel really numb. The last couple days I felt really numb. Tomorrow is move out day. This being the end for sure, let some stuff that I didn't know come to the surface and kind of like skipped forward a couple of steps in the breakup process of like going from sad to angry back to sad my friend came over last night and she slept over downstairs and that was nice we just had margaritas and chatted and sat outside and then today I went over to my mom's and I've been trying to keep busy and like leaving the house for little intervals of time and then I laid in bed for two hours listening to the last couple chapters of the audiobook that I chose to leave reality for a time. I haven't journaled in the last two days, which I'm gonna do after this, although I guess this is kind of like video journaling. Oh my god, Astrid is so sweet. I literally sobbed into you. I sobbed into her face. Thank you, bug. <laughs> Jade was over and she's like, Astrid does the most sensual kisses. It's so weird. <laughs> I think I was hoping 
that being mad would help expedite this whole breakup feelings, but it just makes the sad, lonely, miss our relationship feelings more confusing. <sighs> this whole day, I've either been so frustrated or just so sad. I hope when I edit this video, I'm in a better place and the sad feelings are not lasting quite so long. But I do know this isn't gonna last forever. I know that. And I know that this is right. I've never questioned through this whole time if it's right. I have wished that we haven't gotten here and that we could go back and change things, but for the way that everything played out, it's the right choice. Oh, fuck me. Today is the day that I realized that I have been underplaying how fucking toxic this has been. And I'm done. I see the whole like sad, lonely thing and it's just like in fast forward now because now at this point I wanna be alone. And it's funny cause like the first thing that I said to my parents when he was gone was like, I just want you to know that this isn't how it's been. This isn't what I've been dealing with because like what, that's the last thing I want them to think that I've just been living in this situation. But on and off, it's been kind of almost that bad. I've had some of the like shittiest things that anyone's ever said to me hurled at me today. And it has nothing to do with me. Like I said, I've never questioned it. I've never regretted it, but this has reinforced every decision and it's given me so much confirmation and it's given me so much validation. I can't even tell you how much my parents helped. Like, <laughs> this would have been such a big fucking job. So that's where we're at. Whatever. I don't recommend it as like, uh, oh, <laughs> have a toxic ending to your relationship. But let me tell you what, it's been five days and <sighs> I feel like I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. I was telling my mom, we had this situation in our family a few years ago where none of us talked to my grandfather anymore. And for the longest time, for years, I was waiting for the other shoe to drop. I was talking about it in therapy and they were like, damn bitch. And I was like, I know, but I'm just, I don't feel anything bad about it. It's just like, it happened and it was hard while it was happening, but like, I'm okay. And she was like, maybe you're just okay. Maybe you don't need to be waiting for the other shoe to drop. And it's been like six years and I'm still okay. Today, in this moment, right now, I am genuinely okay. It just feels like there were so many things that I didn't know about. And it makes me feel like I didn't really fully know the person and that makes this easier to deal with. Okay, so it hit me. I think it doesn't help that my main channel got a strike on it. And now I can't post for seven days and uh, I'm just fucking frustrated because it is a stupid fucking reason. And then I just like, oh God, went over to my brothers with my parents and updated them on everything and just like talking about it for the 50th fucking time and I was just like every time when it was like and then this happened and then this happened I was just more and more like numb and dead inside and that's how I'm feeling right now I'm just I mean, I'm just so fucking annoyed well in today's coping mechanism distraction I cleaned out my fridge <laughs> I guess I can show you the before like that's the problem and there looks so much better holy crap and let me just show you everything that came out on the floor ew taylor's making me leave the house today 
we're gonna go and eat salads and go to winners it's rainy it's just like my full-on emotional state out in the world which is kind of nice you know i feel very seen by the universe also today is a very depressy day not loving it not living it not laughing it so as it turns out that was a lot of fun went and had some salads and bitched and then we walked around winners and i got some stuff for the new spare bathroom did i need it probably not did i get it sure fucking did yep i'm really happy to report that i'm having a good day like this morning and afternoon before i went out feeling empty angry sad this evening i've been chatting to so many friends Oh my god, stop chewing on the cord. You're so bad. I made some tacos and I drank a bunch of water and I watched Naked and Afraid XL and I just had a good time talking to people and making plans just to hang out with friends and it's it's good. And my bed is coming, my bed frame that I bought and it's so pretty and I'm so excited. And hopefully tomorrow this is all over. I started editing this video together today and it's weird because it literally happened five or six days ago now. It's not only in like the move on feeling, which I know I'm gonna go back and forth on and like I do need to take that time in how much has happened and in how okay I feel right now, it feels like it's been a long fucking time. I like enjoyed my evening tonight and I was by myself and honestly, that's how I spent most of my evenings. But it was kind of just knowing that someone else was in the house. But this is okay. Like, I'm okay. <laughs> I am so tired. Like, I, I, oh God. my body and my brain have been alive with anxiety. <laughs> I took an Ativan and usually that's like, okay, and we're chill, but nothing. Oh my God. And all day without any rest or break. And I am so tired immediately the minute that his stuff was completely out of my house. That happened like 20 minutes ago. The anxiety was like, all right, bye. I might literally smoke and go to bed. I, I'm pretty sure it's like seven something. Okay, but breakup stuff aside, look at this beautiful breakfast and look at my beautiful new cutlery. I haven't vlogged a lot the last couple days because I've just been, the first few days I was mourning and in kind of action mode. Like there's always something to do, whether it's gather the stuff, clean the rooms. I've been getting out of the house because I feel like I need it, but I've been, laying in bed trying to just like be silent with myself because I feel like that's going to help me process things a little bit which is where I feel like I've been at in this little section is processing and really like I said trying to make sure that the other shoe doesn't drop right it's not as lonely as I thought it was going to be and I get out of the house a lot more because I'm forcing myself to, but I'm feeling okay. I am so excited for my YouTube channel to be back. Holy fuck, you guys. I've been waiting two weeks. Oh God. I'm having a moment. I have been fine. And it has been 12 days. And I knew moments like this would come up, but it's easier knowing that than actually having one come up. I was downstairs letting the dogs out, guest star, and I just, I just wanted to talk to him. I just wanted to see how he's doing. Maybe it isn't easier that the breakup went so poorly. <laughs> Maybe what I thought was gonna like fast forward everything. Actually just put feelings and processing on pause because I was busy being mad. I think if I really zero in on it, I am missing the comfortability of having a person. Having somebody 
there all the time and I'm still angry. I'm angry that I have to start over. I'm angry that it didn't work. I'm angry that I had to put so much of myself into it and it still didn't work. I'm angry that I stayed as long as I did. That's one that I don't like to say. Okay, so I patched and sanded. Use a freaking circular sander. Oh my God, makes sanding so much fucking easier. But I patched, sanded, and I just washed the floors and I moved all of the extra linens into here, all my winter clothes, sheets. So nice to have an extra closet to utilize. got flirted with by a child in Lowe's and my day has been fully fucking made. By child I mean like 17 or 18 and <laughs> he said I look beautiful. Love that for me right now. I got a plant, got more paint. I'm rewarding myself with five guys. It's gonna be a hell of a gangbang. I might also get a milkshake. to call tonight or like reach out or something and <laughs> oh god it's just so up and down <laughs> and I know that if I reached out I wouldn't be like hearing what I want to hear in my head and it's not like anything would really make me feel better anyways <sighs> but like it's just hard to lose your person wrote down everything that I wanted to say in a letter in my journal and I feel like sometimes oh god I'm really gonna be editing around blowing my nose hey I feel like sometimes when I'm journaling I can come to conclusions or like the foundation of how I'm feeling and it's easier because when I'm thinking about it, everything's so like jumbled in my head. I wanted it to be you, but I needed it to be me. <laughs> Even now though, I do know it was the right choice. And I hold on to that a little tighter in these moments. I am having a kind of better morning kind of hard not to improve on last night. My sleeping bag is in the back because I'm going out camping and I need to get it dry cleaned because it's just been stored in the basement for like four years. I just really, really feel like I need to sleep for like two days and maybe that'll jumpstart me into like the next phase or like at least give me some sort of energy or at least turn my fucking brain off for a minute. I just realized that when I picked Jackson up before I left, he dribbled on my shirt. So, just out here being a fucking piss tit. Love that. It's a little windy out there. So, I had this moment today where something happened that just made me feel like I should reach out. And even I was thinking of like giving him a copy of this video and being like, is there anything that you want me to edit out? But I feel like that's been my problem this whole relationship is I take his struggles more seriously than like the effect that these things have on me and I let that shape how I deal with it. And I don't want to do it because I'm not saying anything. I'm not, I, it's truly been all about my experience, my thoughts, my feelings and those are valid and this is the place where I can share that. My part of it and my process with it matters too. And I don't want to edit myself beyond taking out things because like there are moments where I've vlogged and I've like overshared and like I, I really I don't want it to be about him. I don't want it to be about our relationship. I want it to be about moving forward, growing and how I'm dealing with it. Oh my god, you guys. I feel so good today my rover who has been getting me up at like seven let me sleep in until 11. 
and I moved my new bed piece by piece from the main floor upstairs yesterday and built it. I moved my new standing desk piece by piece from the main floor downstairs and then my dad and I moved my old bed from downstairs, took it apart piece by piece upstairs, put it back together. So there was a lot of like building and moving and oh, I needed that sleep and I feel so much better now. So, look at my bed. It's like really genuinely cute in here and I'm happy about it. Like I, I like that my spaces are how I leave them. I like that I come into this room and it's always just nice. And the room that I just repainted that was an office, it's a cute little spare room now. And the gym, it has room and the kitchen is clean and if it's not it's because of me it's been 18 days breaking up at the end of the month really makes it easy to count the days it has changed so much it kind of feels like he's a stranger like we're strangers and that's not sad to me that's like progress i guess through this I have felt validated in my feelings the weeks leading up to the breakup, through the breakup, that it wasn't right for either of us and that we're both going to be fine. Fuck, man. I feel so okay that I genuinely want him to be happy. And I'm not mad and I'm not like there's I'm not holding on to anything. There's no resentment. There's no like anything. It's it's over. <sighs> and I feel OK. I'm really proud of myself for the way that I handled this. At every step of the way, I feel like I was gracious and kind. And I feel like that was all really put to the test and I am happy with my responses to things. And I'm proud of myself for how I handled things. <sighs> and I'm so grateful for like my friends because this time last year I had like, I lost quite a few friends that were like in my life for a long time and I made a few new ones and they've become so important and so pivotal through this and like my family just like they showed up so much for me and like <sighs> I can't imagine going through this without the support system that I have it would have been fucking awful just over these two weeks like I've gone through a lot of mourning and I let myself feel everything and it wasn't always good <laughs> it was very often not good but it has been so worth it to feel okay right now I'm also really glad that I chose to document this on here because I have rewatched this video every other day and seeing the difference from day one to whatever day that I'm on, it's nice. Because of that, I have started kind of getting some self-care stuff ready for this upcoming week. Hello, sweet lady. Um, so I have got a lash appointment on Tuesday. I I have got a massage and a pedicure on Thursday. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I stopped petting you. I'm so sorry. This little dinosaur. This little horse. You're so sweet. You're a little sweet angel baby. Having dogs throughout this process has also been really helpful. So let's let's give some honorable mentions of uh, things that helped during this breakup, okay? Journaling my pets and the rovers because it gave me a reason to get up in the morning and like take them out and whatnot 
Um, Taylor, Jade, and Bronwyn have been absolutely pivotal. <laughs> uh, my parents, my brother, absolutely pivotal. No way, yo. Feeling my feelings, pivotal. This, pivotal. It's been empowering for me to really like put my emotions first here and to really like give them a voice because I feel like that's something I do a lot to a detriment is I just put other people's problems before mine a lot because I can deal with mine. I can like journal. I have outlets. I have a good support system. But sometimes that means that I put mine second or I put mine second to what other people are going to be okay with. And in this moment for this, for journaling this and documenting this and putting this out there, like it is not at the detriment of anybody else. This is my journey solely. So today is good. And I know that I will still probably have days where it is lonely and I'm sad. And that's okay. I'm far enough out of it in this moment that I feel lucky to have like loved somebody the way that I did. So that is it. I'm gonna be doing a Q&A video which if you guys have questions or you're going through a breakup and you just want to commiserate in the misery of it together, please leave a comment down below. We can all just fucking trauma dump on each other, <laughs> which, oh my God, I did that so much the last couple of weeks. Just uh, once again, huge shout outs to my friends and my family. I wouldn't have been able to be okay right now without them. They rallied around me and if I needed anything they called like daily to check up on me and it was just like <sighs> it was the most important part of my process was filling it with other people who mattered and loved me and just if you can find a support system to be around you whether it's online or your family or friends a family of your making oh my God, lean on people when you need to lean on people because it helps. At the very least, I think that this video shows that even if you are down at your worst, it's not gonna last forever. Looking back at day one, day two, day three, like I, I empathize with that version of me because I'm so far out of that phase of this breakup and processing it. If you want to like continue to see daily vlogs, I have a second vlog channel, which I'll link down below. But that is it. If you have questions, leave them below. I really, I really just want us to be able to rally around each other and have a safe place to just like feel sad. So that is going to be this video and then the breakup Q&A video. Just any questions that you have, I will pick and choose the ones that I am going to answer. Again, I'm not going to like be dragging the other person into this. It's not about that. If you're going through a breakup, I feel like we should just have a hug <laughs> because it sucks and I am right there fucking with you and it blows and it's not a good time, but it gets better and then it gets worse, but then it gets better and you will have good days again. And um, yeah, that's all I got. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.